Hello everyone, this is William, here for a new live coding session with React Native. Uh, talking to you from beautiful Zurich, Switzerland. And um, since the last recording on Saturday, I implemented this screen, the Places screen from the Photography Kit, which uh, requires to use um, a picture, uh, map clustering so each picture is geolocated, and then I used this uh, great package that works on top of the React Native Maps, which is shipped in Expo. So I'm using React Native Maps from Expo, and then uh, thanks to this package, I was uh, I could easily en enable uh, clustering in of the pictures in the data set. So you see, for instance, this one, Sacramento, and um, yeah, I think there is some, there are some other packages that do the same job, but yeah, I just picked this one and it worked uh, well out of the box. Uh, was pretty, pretty easy to do so. Uh, so this UI kit is done. And by the way, again, if you're looking to uh, to get the preview, you can go to uh, react-native.shop, uh, play with the current state current state of the UI kit using Expo, so you can uh, yeah play with it, and you can get the preview as well. The last one is is uh, the travel UI kit, and it's a very interesting one. Interesting one in the sense that. It, unless I'm, I'm missing something, it's not using any components which have uh, which I which haven't which sorry, it's uh, using components which have been built already, right? So for uh, every UI kit, there were some components which was really specific to to the UI kit itself. For instance, for the music one, we had like the player control. Uh, for the photography one, we had uh, fancy photo editing uh, components. This one seems to be pretty straightforward. So I just created, uh, so if I go back to the, oops, I just created a boilerplate UI kit and just put some, some data. And now it's just about putting together the components we already have. And yeah, in order to finish the UI kit. And I think it's um, it should be uh, interesting for you guys because, you know, if you're getting the UI kit, you're gonna want to put together the components from the sketch file and the components from React Native together to fit your own use case. And so I think that's a good example on how uh, you can do that. And I think it's uh, also a good exercise for me because, you know, maybe if I'm struggling to put these components together, maybe it needs it means that uh, something needs to be fixed in terms of how uh, these components have been designed. And um, yeah, again, before we we get started, like I just uh, to get an overview of the uh, file structure and. So each UI kit has its own folder. So we have food, music, photography, social, travel, and the uh, welcome component. And then you have the components folder, which contains all components, which are used across all UI kits. And then for a specific UI kit, for instance, music, you have all the components which are specific to this UI kit. And so the same way, the same way in uh, Sketch, you have uh, symbols and overrides. In React Native, we have components and properties. And the way the Sketch Elements UI Kit is organized, uh, the Sketch Elements UI Kit is organized the same way. So you have uh, components which are gen um, symbols which are generic to all UI Kits, and then so for instance, you see the card uh, symbol. And then you have uh, symbols which are specific to a UI kit. So for instance, here music. 
So the same way these uh, symbols are organized in Sketch, we have organized the components in, in React Native. All right, uh, so let's get started. Might be a bumpy live coding session. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. Let's see. It's uh, uh, let's see. It's a bit of uh, we'll see how it goes. All right. So yeah, I just did some boilerplate implemented the first screen, and so the second screen is gonna be when we click on. Uh, on the guide to display the guide. So let's let's have a look. Oops. And by the way, the food UI kit is extremely similar to the travel UI kit. So probably I'm going to spend a lot of time in the food UI kit to see how it's done and reproduce it. Uh, for instance, here I'm seeing that the recipe screen looks very much like the guide screen right yes so that's so i'm going to the travel folder opening the screen which is empty and in fact i think so first i'm going to set the properties which i receive from the screen so if i go in the guides screen i send the I'm using React nav Navigation and I'm sending uh, the guide data as a parameter to the screen. So I'm going to receive it as a property, which I can set here. And the guide type is defined in the API. And I think what I'm going to do is uh, really to look at the recipe screen to see uh, how it's, it, yeah, how it was implemented. It's extremely similar because you also have the action sheet. So yes, extremely similar. Um, Should I? I'm thinking of just doing a copy and paste. Yes. So we need to add a couple of imports. Container, header, navigation bar, button, Content list. <clears throat> I need to import auto bind. guide all right so in the navigation the back button would be title will be back the title will be the name of the city Picture is a picture. So the detail bar, so duration of the trip, and then some weather icon. So let's see. Icon. So here, yeah, icon will be clock. I guess, I mean, let me uh, check out the icon names <coughs> to verify. Yes, that's good. 
And is there a weather icon? Yes. So I can use sun. Guide duration. Mm. Let me see. also detail bar <coughs> now the primary button is to book the trip Names action sheet action sheet to book trip. So I guess this one, the content of the action sheet we will do later. Title is reservation. So actually I should maybe rename this quickly to reservation. to implement the list so it's uh, each guide has a list of visits and So 
So for this one, we're gonna need to implement a component which is specific to travel, which is a visit component. So I'm gonna go ahead and import it from the list of components. So I need to create uh, in the travel folder, I'm gonna create a components folder. Add an index.js file. <clears throat> which exports the visit component default uh, and I can create the visit.js file okay So the visit type should be available from API. Right, so each UI kit, I mean each kit has an API folder. The API folder contains the data model for this kit and also returns the data that is required. So this is where I'm accessing all these uh, data model types. So, and maybe just to see if it works, I'm gonna return an empty view. Yeah, I can, so let's see just how it looks like now. Syntax error, line 42. I have an inbox missing here. I'm trying to think <coughs> how to implement the left part here. Um, let's see. And So on the right part, we're going to put the visit name and the address.
and I think this one is a headline and this one is a footnote. I can check if I look at this one in playlist, which are the typography that we use playlist entry. So this one is a footnote. The track name seems to be just a regular. Okay. All right. So here we're gonna need to add, I'm sorry, the sun is, I'm not seeing my screen very well right now, okay. Um, container, so flex direction row. So I guess, so first I'm going to center, I mean, I'm going to position a bullet point. Uh, to, 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 to. Trying to think. Yes, let's do the bullet first.
All right. So we're going to add some some padding. And we need to add the line. I'm thinking Let me try some an object with so a width of two and we do a line self stretch to try to expand the view vertically and in order to do that we would have to set in bullet a flex direction to go. Mm, no, it's not gonna work because we need to set this one as a, a absolute positioning. So maybe we can do a wave of half. So the the left part is 44 pixel so maybe i'm gonna use half of the width so 22 and then actually i can use position absolute left zero up Wait, let me just check if this works What is he complaining about? Not bad at all, and the padding, I'm going to move it to uh, the text part. OK. 
Okay. Now, uh, border left width equals two. Um, <clears throat> let's have a look. And that's not going to work. Border right, sorry. Not bad. Uh, so point background color is white and um, the centering seems to be incorrect. Uh, two, 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 two. Why? If I put the point above line, I don't think this is going to fix the superposition issue because uh, line, oh, it works, okay. I didn't know if it would work because line is not absolutely positioned, but it seems to work, that's nice. But the centering is not correct. Why is that? Is it because of the border size? That looks correct. Now we need to add the primary color of the kit and then to handle the first and last cases. So in the first case, we don't show the top part of the line and in the last item, we don't show the bottom part of the line. Um, Let's add the primary color first. first. So we're going to add theme props properties. So we need to import with theme and the type theme props. Okay. So we need to inject theme in this component. And we can use it here.
pretty good. Now we need to enter the first and last. And I'm not sure how to do this actually. Um, let me see. I mean, one easy way to do it would be to set a fixed size to the to the item. Let me check the, quickly the typography style. Footnote. Okay, that looks good. second I'm just closing the blind much better um, Yes, we can add a property if it's first, uh, the first item, and one if it's the last. Okay, we can set these properties in the guide screen.
Okay, it looks good. So now if we go back to this component. So if it's the first line, uh, top is actually at 30 pixels, and if it's the last line, bottom is at 30 pixels. style Okay. Uh, is it because of the height? No. Hmm. Just check if these properties are set properly. So the first one is good, not the last one. Why is that? So it's visit length minus one. Okay. Oops. Let me see if I can inspect. It looks like the style is not overwritten as expected, let's see.
Okay. I was not passing the style. Oh my gosh, I'm so silly. I was not passing the style as a property, so it looks good now. Okay. So probably this one is not necessary. Nine. No, okay. Top sixty. Now I'm wondering if there is a way we could have the orange line go over the border color. Let me just maybe make a commit. Okay. Now we can do the reservation action sheet. So we need to display the list again. Um, sorry. You see.
que so I can loop on the visits. So for such a button, I think we've implemented it already in the reservation screen, so I can just copy it from there, from there. Oops. button okay that's pretty good we are missing um some padding. Let me check. Yes. It looks pretty good. Oops. So I think there's a, a, some small details that need to be arranged, but that's, I mean, that looks pretty similar to To the screens from sketch elements so i'm gonna take a small break now and uh, i'll be back to so we can look at uh, the other screens so 